Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating how to knit this gorgeous that I haven't started yet, but it's, I know it's going to turn out gorgeous. What I did is I went to my basement and searched for my pink yarn. So I grabbed them. I am going to use my stash yarn that I have. I don't want to purchase. I was about to. <laughs> But I said, no, I need to get rid of these first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine all these yarn and make them one plot. Uh, um, like one, I have one different different types I have, but they're all the same color. So one, two, three. And then I might use these later. I don't know. We'll see. Because these are the same. So I have total of... One, two, three, four, five different types, but same pink. So I'm going to combine them and I'm going to start the bobble cardigan. And I will uh, be demonstrating how to knit it with you guys to, to, to starting. This is going to be for a, I would say a toddler, maybe th even three-year-old. It depends on, we'll see. Because um, I've been seeing this cardigan all over Instagram. When you search it up, it's everywhere. It's called the Bobble Cardigan. They have other names as well, but uh, I'm going to call it the Bobble Cardigan. And uh, I'm going to start knitting this. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And then you can increase it. I'm going to start top down as usual. This way I can control how much yarn I have. And work on the sleeves, because the sleeves uses up lots of yarn. I found out that it uses up lots of yarn, yes. Like, I think you need about 16 to 20 balls of this big, um, I think it's called Burnout Soft Bulky Yarn, and you need 20 of them, and they're about 300 gram. If you go online, you can buy it. So 20, 300, that's, uh, that's about 600 gram over there, almost uh, over a pound. So uh, half a kilogram, 600 gram. Yeah, it uses up lots of yarn. It's thick. So that's the reason I'm going to use these yarn to find out how much yarn we will use for a toddler or a, uh, or a, a three-year-old. I'm going to be gifting this to my doctor's daughter. She's, she's turning three. And uh, <laughs> so I'm going to see her on my checkup. I go and see her every three months. And I'll gift this to her. <laughs> she will love it, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. If you don't have your stash yarn, just grab, like I, I don't know how much yarn you, you would need for a toddler or for a three-year-old. But if you want to make it for yourself, I would say go and buy 20 balls of this 300 Bernat bulky yarn. And I will uh, put a picture what yarn you would need to knit this uh, cardigan. So let's get started. Well, before we get started, you need a bulky, you need a thick knitting needle. And uh, I will be knitting these together, a couple of strands. So I will figure out what I need. And uh, you, if you're buying the yarn, I would just look at the label and we would recommend what uh, uh, yarn you would need. And I do have other colors that I will be working on. As you can see, there's this turquoise there. It's beautiful. I have uh, enough yarn to knit that one. And I have a couple of uh, yarns here in my basket that I pulled out of my, uh, my um, stash downstairs. I have burgundy. I have this lovely green. I have enough to knit. Oh boy, oh boy, the yarn that I bought, I'm trying not to buy anymore, and I stash here. These are my Etsy boxes that I ship with. And here are some blue yarn. That Yes, if you want to buy, I bought these at Walmart. Oh no, yeah, these, were, these are from Walmart. But uh, this pink one, I bought it at Michael's. They had special going on, so... If you find these, grab them because they are Burnett Satin Yarn. Yeah, I can't remember how much I paid. I think it was $10. It's this brand of yarn. It's this brand of yarn, but it doesn't have a tag on it, label on it. So, uh, like these are sold for three, four bucks. Three, 
$3.50, I think. If you get them on sale online, I think they're on sale for $2.50. If you're lucky and you can't find the color what you want, like here's another one I got it from Michaels. It had a special sale going on, but unfortunately only had four balls of this. I love the color. It's cotton. It's just gorgeous. I'll show you the label here. It doesn't say what it is, but I tested it. It's cotton. It's 100% cotton. It's just gorgeous. Very soft. It says mixed um, yeah, mixed fibers. And sometimes if you're lucky, you grab a great bag. So, never mind <laughs> going through my stash. I have lots and lots of yarn. And I have so many projects in my head. So let's get started. So far I did uh, three strands of the yarn. And uh, this is how it looks like. It's, it looks like it's worsted, not bulky. So what we're going to do is we're going to be casting on a total of uh, uh, 74 stitches. And then after that, we're going to be knitting five ridges. Okay, uh, to cast on, I just uh, grabbed my uh, needle and I can't find it. <laughs> I was just, oh, it's over my neck. <laughs> so I grabbed my one of my Addy Neat needles and this is, because uh, it doesn't show what size it is. This is, I have my tool here. I measure it so it's a it's a six and a half millimeter so 10 US knitting needles and it depends on your yarn so uh, just work with it and cast on a total of uh, 74 stitches and uh, yeah, I'm just going to cast on my regular cast on that I do and I will meet you I will meet you after we cast on I have casted on a total of 74 stitches and what we're going to do is it's a purl stitch so either you can knit yarn on the back I found out that people don't like doing the purl stitch either you can do it like this two sides front and back just like this and it gives you that purl stitch look instead of knitting yarn from the front if you don't like it you can knit it like this so uh, uh, for this uh, uh, cardigan that I, w uh, I am knitting it's going the yoke is going to be a round yoke and uh, I wanted to share you the yoke, how I do the yoke on this on this tutorial on the sweater. And if you do knit yarn on the back, this is how it will look like, and this is what we need. So we're going to be knitting two sides like this. So continue knitting about four, uh, five ridges like this. So when you count, there should be five ridges. So continue knitting, just straight knit. So this is going to be the collar what we're doing. The five row, uh, five ridge knit is going to be the collar of the cardigan. Okay, and oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Don't forget the buttonhole. <laughs> so uh, where I'm going to do the buttonhole, it would be, I will come back to show you how to do the buttonhole for females. And it, it should, the buttonhole should be on, on the right side so it should be here when you wear it so it should be on this side so I will come back to show you how to do the button also continue knitting like this for uh, I think two more rows because I don't want the buttonhole to be pretty down it should be around here so I'll come back to make the buttonhole and we'll go from there okay I just wanted to show you how to do the uh, buttonhole as uh, this is my first uh, row knitting. I just wanted to show you. So I only have knit one row. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit these two together. And I'm doing uh, 
pearl knitting yarn on the front because I knit uh, Turkish style and uh, it's more convenient for me to knit like this so uh, if you want to knit yarn on the back just a regular knit stitch two sides you will still have that uh, pearl look on the front so I knit two together I did a yarn over and I'm going to knit the remaining two stitches left so this will be the buttonhole and before I do that I want to show you how to make that nice uh, uh, edge look so what I'm going to do is you knit all the stitches on the front and then what you do is you always knit the, uh, the yarn on the back the last stitch to give that nice edge look and then my one of the yarn came off and then you knit like this yarn on the back and when you turn your work you always knit the fr uh, you don't knit the first stitch but you you put the stitch to the other needle as you were to purl just like this and then you continue knitting so that gives a nice edge it gives that nice knit edge and the more you knit the more you will see it so when you knit all the way to the end you knit the last stitch yarn on the back and when you start all over again you move the stitch to this to the other needle as if to purl so that gives you the nice edge look okay so uh, like I said we're going to be knitting five ridges but I wanted to put the buttonhole before I I let you go so this yarn over will cover that two knit together that we did so you just knit these and continue knitting so this is one of our this will be the buttonhole on the right side of the cardigan and continue knitting like this about five ridges so count these these are ridges and then I will meet you back so I'm knitting the second ridge so this is these are ridges so continue knitting and I'll see you back later I have knit total of five ridges and I'm at the last row so to give that nice edge you do it this way you knit the last stitch yarn on the back and when you come back at the beginning you slip the stitch as you are to purl and then you continue knitting or purling either way you you started so so total of five stitches after uh, knitting uh, five ridges so knit five more stitches so this is going to be the border of the cardigan so four and then five what we're going to do is we're going to start increasing So this is how it looks like this is the back and this is the front it both ways are same so what we're going to do is we're going to purl yarn on the front just like this and then without moving the stitch what we're going to do is we're going to come here the, the needle and then we're going to go between and then we're going to go like this this is how I increase and it gives that uh, nice look without see it's a pearl stitch and this is how you increase and what we do is we knit one we increase one so we knit one and then on the next one we increase one just go between just like this and this is how we increase so by doing this the the raglan the yoke is going to be a circle like a round and it gives that nice uh, texture on the cardigan so I, I decided to knit cardigan this way and then we increase so we're just going to knit one just like this and then knit the second one 
but increase. So continue knitting like this all the way to the end until you have five stitches and then you just uh, knit those five stitches and, uh, and then we'll go from there and um, it depends like this is going to be for a three-year-old but uh, if you want to knit for yourself what you do is you increase every uh, five ridges uh, I'm sorry you knit five ridges and you uh, you increased on the following row so you knit five ridges and you increase on the following row so you do this about uh, until you have the measurements for a baby cardigan or for an adult and uh, yeah it's going to be pretty big actually maybe it can be for an adult too who knows we'll see we'll see how the end result is going to end up and then we'll go from there and uh, so we did our increase we did our increase and we're going to knit the following stitch and you continue knitting like this and I will meet you further on so continue knitting like this all the way to the end Okay, so I have came to the end of the row and there's supposed to be five stitches. I did my increase and I see there's six left. So what I'll do is I'll just knit the remaining six, six and uh, still early to make another buttonhole. So uh, I will continue knitting like this about five more ridges but between I will make a buttonhole and I will come back and I will show you how to make the buttonhole just in case if you get confused and the last stitch I knit to give that nice see how it looks isn't it good yeah it's nice and straight goes to, and then when you begin you just move it to the next to the, to the next needle as to, to purl and you continue doing the five more ridges and this is the front of the work so one two three four five and we did the increase here and then you're gonna knit five more ridges but like I said I will come back um, about three four fingers so that would be about three three two and a half inches I would say yeah that would be perfect to make the next buttonhole. So I will come back to show you how to make the next buttonhole. But continue knitting like this. And I will come back. I have knit about another three ridges. One, two, three. This is where we did the increase. So I'm going to make the second buttonhole. Just like this. And um, I knit the two stitches together. Just like this yarn on the front. Well, if you're doing the knit yarn on the back, you can do it that way too. And then I'm going to do a yarn over. Oops. Oops, oopsie. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way because I'm doing a purl stitch. And if you're doing a knit stitch yarn on the back, you can do the same thing. And then I'm just going to knit. So this would, this yarn over would cover this uh, two stitches that we knit together to create the buttonhole same just like here and it looks great and then the last stitch I am going to do a knit stitch yarn on the back to give that nice edge look just like this and it creates that nice edge see you can see the knit stitches on the side so I need to do two more rows two more ridges like one two so after that uh, what you can do is um, I will knit two more ridges and I'll come back so that's total of five what uh, yeah uh, and then we'll figure out what size this is going to be because um, if you're knitting for a small size adult you usually knit about seven inches from the from the uh, collar well if you yes two because I, I don't count the five ridges so we'll continue knitting and then we'll figure out what size this is because I forgot the bulky yarn 
the worsted yarn that we create I, I created with the three uh, strands of yarn so this is going to give that uh, huge look and meanwhile while I have you on my uh, yeah I my uh, I need to move this to a bigger longer uh, longer uh, needles because uh, I wanted to show you how it looks like so I will continue knitting three more rows and I will uh, show you how it looks like uh, round and then I will put it on the mannequin I have a medium sized mannequin and we'll try to figure out what size this is but I'm assuming uh, this is not going to be a, a toddler or a three-year-old it's going to be bigger so we'll go from there and then uh, we'll see what's going to happen. So knit to two more ridges and uh, we'll see you back. After putting the buttonhole, I have uh, knitted the total of five ridges after the increase here. As you can see, this is the increase, this row. One, two, three, four, five. So I am back and I'm going to be doing the second increase on this uh, cardigan. And I just wanted to show you over again how you can do it as I'm knitting yarn on the front but you can knit both side yarn, yarn on the back uh, I'm repeating again <laughs> over and over just to let you know because I did get a comment that you can knit that so it's uh, just letting you know that you can knit yarn on the back as well to create the per, uh, pearl stitch and this is how you increase when you're doing a yarn on the front, just like this. You knit one, you increase the second stitch, just like this. Okay, and this is the second increase. So I have knit total of Let me just measure from here. So this is about four inches approximately when you measure. So I would say knit about uh, increase this row and then okay so I have been knitting like crazy <laughs> and this is how it looks like. It looks like a circle. Okay I did the uh, increases if you look at it carefully you can see where the increases are done I did total of three increases on the I knitted five ridges and I did the increase I knitted another five and I did the increase and I knitted another five and I did the increase and I knitted another five so we are done we are done this is how it looks like it looks like a circle. So I'm going to put this on the mannequin and to try to give you an idea how it will look like on a human being. And then we are going to be separating the body parts. The front, the sleeve area, and the back. So I did a little sketch here just to give you an idea. My drawing is not good at all and I have a coffee stain there so please forgive me so you should have a total of 227 stitches on the needle and when we fold it this is how it would look like and this is for a three-year-old so uh, if you want to knit for an adult you just add more stitches on the collar area or you knit three ridges and increase three edges increase and you will have more stitches and then you can knit more further down than what I did here okay so I'll let me just pull this to my mannequin and show it to you how it will look like okay so when I put it on the mannequin this is how it looks like you can't you can even need knit, knit a poncho further going down you can increase another two more knit increase here knit five ridges increase can be even a poncho just to give you an idea <laughs> okay so and I did the buttonholes every seven ridges so I will add another buttonhole and what I'm going to do is this is a bulky sweater if you want to knit with one strand you are welcome to and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the sleeves and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 40 in 40 uh, 
stitches on the sleeve and the remaining I'm going to divide them to two and, and put them on the front and the back and then knit further and then uh, we'll go from there so this is how it looks like when you put it on the mannequin and my knitting needle I had well the yarn is bulky because I knitted with three strand and like I said you can knit it with one strand and that would be no problem at all if you knit it with one strand it would be tinier than what it looks like now so let's continue okay so what I have done is it's a big bulky and it's hard to show it on the screen so what I done is I have divided everything 227 stitches approximately so I divided the uh, uh, so 74 for the front 74 stitches for the front so uh, for the 74 the front I divide that by 2 and that's 37 stitches here and 40 stitches for the sleeve and I am going to be knitting um, I think 73 or 72 stitches for the back another 40 stitches and then um, front would be the remaining 37 stitches okay so what we're going to do is I'm not going to be adding anything because this is going to be a three-year-old as you can see it gets smaller it looks big but when you divide the body parts it's going to get smaller so I'm not going to add any more stitches I usually you know add six stitches for the underarm but for this uh, sweater because it's bulky I'm not adding anything I'm not uh, if you are knitting with one strand I would advise you to add three stitches here just to give that little space but because of this is too bulky and I don't want to add more stitches because it gets bigger and bigger and what I'm going to do is I am going to because I, there's no matter what you do there's always a big gap between when you add these stitches together when you put them together so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one stitch and I'm going to knit that one stitch together and usually I don't like doing the one I'll just show you why because this stitch gets longer when you're knitting it from here it gets longer like this and I don't like that so I'm just going to give that a twist so I'm going to do one usually this is how you do it right this is how you do it so I'm going to give another twist to to get rid of that uh, so it won't get long so tighten it and I'm going to knit these together, this stitch and this stitch together, so there won't be any gap between. Okay, so add this here. It's a tight stitch, so just like this, knit these together. So there won't be any gap between tightly, just like this, see? And it's tight. So continue knitting. It's mathematic. You need your math. <laughs> you need your brain to work this out. Okay. So I'm going to continue knitting and I'll come back. Okay, so I went back and I fixed a couple of errors and I wanted to share it with you. <laughs> It happens so I knit to 37 stitches up to here and what I did is I separated the 40 stitches and instead of adding what I did is I'll show you show you so there's uh, 71 stitches for the back but instead of adding a stitch what I did is I already have so many stitches here I didn't want to add any more so what I did is let's remove my I use this as a stitch marker. Oh I'm so lazy to find my other markers I have. Okay, so what? So there's a stitch here. There's so there's 71 on the back. 
but what we're going to do is we're going to knit these two stitches together together instead of adding so this way get getting rid of the one stitch so there will be 70 okay so we have that part done and then there's 37 here okay because the button and there's three borders um, five stitches borders so I thought we should have more stitches on the front okay so uh, it's only four stitches extra on the front okay so what we're going to do is we're gonna knit these two together just like this and tighten so have the stitch and knit them to two together if you're doing knit you can knit it from the back and tighten this and then continue knitting just like this so we have separated the body parts and I'm going to go over that again if you want to write your own note you are welcome to write the notes and I'll come back to show you more details and this is how it looks like so far <laughs> the end results always looks great okay <laughs> you can even leave it like this and make a vest or a shrug bind off and uh, but we're going to knit the sleeves, so we're going to continue. Okay, so far, what we did is the front is 37, 37 stitches. Um, the sleeves are 40 stitches, and the back is 70 stitches left because we uh, knit two together on each underarm to get rid of the two stitches. So, like I said, there was supposed to be 72 on the back. So I was correct. So this is how you knit. Cast on total of uh, 74 stitches. Knit five ridges. Increase one. Knit one. Five, knit five, and then uh, increase one. Knit one. Increase one on that row, and then again knit another five ridges, which is here, and then again knit five. Increase one. Knit one. Increase one. And then, and then knit another five ridges, and then another knit increase, and then knit five ridge, and then knit uh, increase. Well, no, not increase. So we did three, one, two, three increases, and that is enough for a baby cardigan. But if you want to knit for yourself, yeah, go ahead and knit longer. So if we go to the measurements. This is going to be the collar, the five, uh, the five rows going to be the collar. And then when you measure it for a baby, one, two, three, four, five. Where was our increase? Sometimes it's hard to find increase. Here we go. So it's about six inches for a three-year-old. And then I divided by the body parts. If you want to knit it for yourself, I would continue increasing. And then uh, knit about 7 inches for a small size. For a medium size, 8 inches down. You knit further. Okay, and then when we put the button holes, when we sew the buttons, this is going to be going on, well, actually the button's going to be going on this part. So, if I measure across, it's hard to measure because of the because of the needles. I put circular needles on. I didn't put it on the holder, the stitch holder, so I didn't use the tool. Okay, uh, just approximately give you an idea. It's hard to measure. Let me go like this. No, it's not going to work out. I have to hold the camera. So if I measure approximately, it should be uh, about 15 inches across for a three-year-old. So if I get rid of this gap, it should be 15. Yeah, 15. If I get rid of this gap, 15 inches. And then what we're going to do is we're going to knit 10 inches long and then bind off. And then, so it would be a total of 16, for the height it would be 16, 17 inches long. And for the sleeves, 
we're going to be knitting later on. So I have plenty of yarn here. So I'm going to continue knitting, as you can see. <laughs> And we'll go from there. So continue knitting. There's nothing, uh, nothing to add or increase or nothing. Nothing. Just continue to knit about ten more ridges, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So far, I have knit all the way down. Just want to let you know that it uses up lots of yarn because we're knitting both sides and uh, yeah it's using up lots of yarn so I'm kind of getting scared if I'm gonna have enough yarn here <laughs> uh, especially after what I did is after dividing the body parts I knit straight down nothing at all just regular purl stitch when I say purl stitch, I get comments, so uh, you can knit yarn on the on the uh, back, both sides, and you will have this uh, stitch. So, and I have total of two, four, five buttonholes so far. And I am going to put this as an adult because it turned up pretty big. <laughs> um, I think a still three-year-old can wear it, even a four or five. But yeah, the neck area is pretty big for a three-year-old. So, yeah, it's, a, it's like 18 inches, so 36 chest area. It's too big for a child. Okay, so I have started one of the sleeves, and I will demonstrate the other one as soon as I finish this one. I'm just doing a test to see how it's going to turn out on the sleeve and I will knit a couple of inches I can't knit 20 inches long for an adult because I don't have enough yarn <laughs> and these yarns are from my stash so I don't think I can find the same color it's really tough okay so I will come back and demonstrate how to knit this sleeve as soon as I finish this one and as you can see, the bobbles are becoming, if you look at it. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty thick. And this is the back of the work. And I'm not doing a round and around. I'm just doing it back and forth. Because this is a test, you can do it round and around as well. Which I usually do. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. And I will come back to demonstrate how to knit the sleeve pretty shortly. Okay, so far I have knitted this far. It's about 15 inches from underarm. Um... Actually, it's 13, yeah, because <laughs> it does shrink. Okay, and I've been doing lots of knitting, and it's not going so fast to knit this cardigan. Just want to let you know, and uses up lots of yarn. <laughs> okay, we'll see what's going to happen at the end. So I will be knitting two more inches, and then I will be doing the rib. One knit, one purl. So 17 inches from underarm, hopefully. And this is how it looks like. The bobble stitch. I'm going to call this the bobble stitch. Knitting the bobble stitch. And, uh, yeah. So I will come back to show you more. And then I will show you how to demonstrate on the right side of the sleeve. But it's a lot of knitting, just to let you know. And it is pretty thick. Because I used three ply yarn. Here it is. Just to show you. So I'll be I will be coming back.
and I have finished one of the sleeves. This is how it looks like so far. So we're going to start the second sleeve and I will demonstrate how to knit it. And this is how it looks like so far. It's about 20 inches long. So I said to myself, I wanted to be this to be a three-year-old, but unfortunately when I knit it with three strands of yarn, it turned up to be a medium size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit and hoping I would have enough yarn finish the other sleeve and then if I have more I would lengthen the the body the sweater and this is how it looks like so far I think it's turning out pretty good yes so let's get started on the sleeve what I did is I didn't want to pick up too many stitches I picked up about four stitches just wanted to show you so two here two here to get that get rid of that gap and I'm gonna knit two stitches together to join the this uh, gap again so to get get rid of that gap that's the main focus that I'm picking up the stitches otherwise I have plenty of yarn here stitches here to knit the sleeve and I have 40 stitches on the sleeve and four more it would be 44 to get over get rid of the two it's going to be 42 so what I did is I did kind of bind off decreased every two uh, bobbles so I knit it up to here so one two and when I'm doing the second starting to the third bobble here I decrease so every two bobbles we are decreasing just to give that sleeve look yeah let's sit that way and it would look you don't have to but it the, but the yarn is already bulky and I thought okay let's get rid of some stitches here because it is pretty bulky and uh, if you don't want to get rid of it you can knit it with bulky yarn okay so let's get started on the sleeve okay so we are here I have the two stitches here and the two stitches here where I have picked up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be knitting yarn on the front if you wanna if you're doing yarn on the back two sides knit like this you can continue so we're gonna we're not, I'm not gonna count this one because uh, when I come back I'm going to be knitting these two together to get rid of the gap because there's going to be a gap so just gonna knit five stitches one yeah it's making too much noise let me grab the other end of the needles here <laughs> so one two three If you knit with one strand, this would be a baby uh, toddler sweater. If you knit with two strand, it would be a size bigger. With three strand, it turned out to be a medium size, small to medium size. So, okay, we have, uh, get rid of this, so two, four, and then five. And then I'm going to start the stitch. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. You can, uh, you can, um, gonna leave those I'm sorry but I need to knit this I can't hold and knit at the same time so what you can do is this is one of the methods that I'm using so I'm knitting yarn on the back one I'm not leaving the stitch the stitch is still here I'm gonna go yarn over so this is a two knit one three yarn over four and then five so what I did is I made total of uh, five stitches on one stitch just like this Okay, and if we just grab the other sleeve with, which I knitted just show you how it So we're here We're here at this part. So 
oh, was it five or six, I can't remember. I don't write these down, I should. If I write this down, then it would be a pattern, right? I would write, be writing a pattern, which I never do. I'm so lazy. This, all, this is all in my head. So this is where we created the five stitches. And then we're going to be knitting five stitches in between. Okay, just like that. Okay, the reason we're knitting five stitches, one, two, so this two stitches would be on this side, just to give you an idea. And then when we come back, when we finish this bobble, we're going to create another bobble on this stitch so this is the stitch that we're going to be working on when we go further and this stitch would be the for the next bobble just to cover it between the space and we're going to create another bobble stitch so to do that you can either do this method I feel this method is easier or you can do this method just like this you go yarn over you go knit one front yarn on the back knit two it does the same trick. Yarn on the back, three. Oopsie. <laughs> you can use a crochet hook if you're not feeling comfortable. That can help too. I can show you later on the, so four. And then knit yarn on the back, five. So this, here's another way to create, to, uh, to make five stitches. So we're going to knit five stitches in, in the middle, one, two, three, four, five. I haven't used a crochet hook, but if you want to, you can do that too. So I'll just grab one of my crochet hook. Some people like to work with crochet hooks. So what you can do is, you can go like this, one. easy to grab it with the hook two as you can see I don't use this method a lot but some people do three yarn on the front four and yarn on the back five but the thing is then you have to move it here see that's another trick so I don't like this method, but I just wanted to show you. You can, you're welcome to do it. I like this method. It, I feel that it's easy. It's easy for me with the thick needle and with the bulky yarn. So two, three, yarn over four, and then five. Boom, just like this. And then you continue knitting all the way to the end. Just make sure if you don't have 40 stitches on your needle, you can always change that. That would be no problem at all. But make sure to have at least three stitches on the edge and then create this and then five must be five stitches in the middle and then create the bobble stitch just like that. Five stitches you create and then you bring it again three four five so continue knitting and this is this is how it's done this is the front of the work and I will come back to show you the back of the work okay so I have knit uh, five stitches and I'm gonna make another one I'm almost at the end here so I just wanted to show you you have 42 44 stitches on your needle this is how it should look like on the sleeve okay so I'm gonna it five and then I'm gonna knit one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna five. I'm gonna have more stitches here, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna knit these two together to get rid of that gap. And then I'm just gonna well, I'm gonna knit this yarn the back to give that nice nice look on the edge doesn't this look nice when you when you do the knit stitch and it gives that nice edge well this is going to be a sleeve but still I just wanted to have it look professional knit the last stitch and when you turn your work you purl so I'm going to get rid of this needle and then grab the other end of this one 
Okay, uh, I'm not doing a round. If you want to, you can do a round, like continue knitting, round and around, but uh, I'm not, for, for the demonstration, I'm just showing you straight. Okay, so purl. And what we're going to do is, we're going to knit yarn on the back, all the stitches, just like this, nothing else. Just continue knitting. Knit all the stitches. All the stitches. Yarn on the back. And then when we come to the five stitches, you knit them too. Nothing to do different. Just like this. Knit these five stitches. Two. Three. The stitcher would look weird, but you can just control that. Four and then five. You knit all the stitches. Okay. And that's how it gives that bumpy bobble look. Bubble look, bobble look. Whichever you would like to word it. Okay, so continue knitting yarn on the back and I will come back to show you how to finish the end. I'm at the end of the row, so I have knit all the way. So because there's a gap, remember we did the extra two stitches here. So I'm going to knit these two together to get rid of that gap. That's the reason I picked up an extra stitch. This way I would close the gap and I'm going to knit this stitch. And when I turn my work, I'm going to knit yarn on the front. If you're Then continue knitting every stitch. What you see is what you're going to be knitting. See, I forgot a stitch here. I'll fix that. Two strands of yarn are is out. <laughs> okay, so you just continue knitting, and when you come back, you knit yarn on the back, just like what you see is what you knit, and then we continue knitting like this for about five, uh, five rows. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> just like this. So, one, two, three, four, five. So continue knitting like this. Come back and forth, and. I will meet you when we're going to be picking up these stitches, these uh, bobble stitches that we have knit together. So we're going to be picking up this and creating uh, on the third stitch. Remember we did the five stitch between. On the third stitch we will be make, creating a bobble stitch. So continue knitting like this. Total of uh, five rows and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so after knitting total of five rows, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to be picking these five stitches. Okay, so just to figure out where we started, two, four, five, two, four, five. It's hard to see, but try to figure out where you left the stitches. So there's five stitches prior to the five uh, bobble stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit these two stitches just like this. Yarn on the front and then we're going to create the third stitch. We're going to create the bobble stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to knit the two stitches just like this one, two. And for the five stitches, we're going to grab the five stitches, two, three. It's going to be tough. Either you can use a crochet hook, grab one of your smallest crochet hooks if you have. If you don't, it's going to be tough. So, what I do is I go one, two, three, four, five, and I go yarn over and then grab that stitch and then pull, pull it just like this. <laughs> and then, so when we knit the, the, we have to knit the five stitches yarn on the front to create this stitch, bobble stitch, and then pull this tightly 
tightly and then knit the remaining two stitches next to it just like this yarn on the front and then create another bobble stitch in between just like this so this is how you make the bobble stitch I call this the bobble stitch or a balloon stitch one two three four five and this is all to it so you continue knitting like this all the way to the end to create the stitch so one two I will show you how to knit the five stitches together it's going to be tough but try to loosen it up four five but I like the crochet hook I Grab one of my smallest crochet hooks that can go in there comfortably. Either you can do it this way. Uh, let me just see. I think I missed one. So four, five. Try to move the stitch in and you go between and you just grab it. If you knit with one strands of yarn it would be way easier because I'm doing with three different yarns to create this uh, huge bobble look and this is how you pull it tightly. If you pull it tightly then you know it pulls up the stitch and then you continue knitting like this all the way to the end. So this is all to it. It's a very simple you just knit like this five rows and then you 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 create a bobble stitch up here and this is how you knit the stitch this is all to it and then I think uh, I did total of 11 bobble stitches if you count them 11 and then I did what I did is one knit one purl rib stitch and I finished the sleeve. So you're going to be doing lots of knitting. Okay, so we did two and we're going to create the next stitch just like this. So on the third, you go one, two, three, uh, three, four, five. If you don't want to knit with uh, three strands of yarn, uh, the reason I knit it with three, I just wanted to get rid of my yarns that I had in my stash here. And I just have a little bit left here. Sorry for the blurriness. My hands are full. I can't focus the camera. So uh, that's the reason. So I have, that's the reason I knitted with three strands, uh, just to get rid of my stash here. But if you want to, you can go and purchase 13, 14 balls of 100 grand. I think they're, if you buy it online, yeah, like the thickest, the bulkiest yarn you can knit it with. Online, I think it's cheaper, but at Walmart, I checked, there's no sale going on for bulky yarn. Yeah. That's all to it. So, like I said, five, you knit five, and then you create the bobble stitch at the beginning. And we're in, we're in, we're in, when you are in the middle, you knit two, and then you create the bobble stitch, just like three. You create five stitches. You make five stitches in one stitch. And then you knit yarn on the front. That's how you knit the front. On the back you knit yarn on the back. And then you knit two stitches. And then you pick the five stitches. I think we did something wrong here. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I already did an increase. Yeah, be careful. Okay, we're supposed to pick the five stitches. Not to make anywhere. Just be careful where you are. If you forget and you forget to talk like me and you don't look what you're doing, this is what happens. So we made one. We have to increase, uh, we have to pick all the stitches. So get rid of that. Be very cautious. And to create this stitch, you need to five, five, ro five rows. And then, after knitting the five rows, 
create another bobble stitch just like this. So you pick these five stitches, three, four, five, you knit them to two together, you knit all the five stitches all at once, yarn on the front. And that's how we knit the stitch. So continue knitting as long as you want. I did 11 bobble stitches about 20 inches and I knitted the red stitch. So I will continue knitting and uh, we'll go from there and I'll show you where I am. And this is how you knit the stitch. Okay, I just wanted to show you before I continue knitting on the same row that I showed you how to um, put uh, pick the stitches together. So I'm almost at the end and I have knit two and I am going to <clears throat> make five stitches from one stitch, three, yarn over four and then five. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knit these remaining stitches and then for the last stitch I do a knit stitch yarn on the back to give that nice edge look just like this and it creates that nice edge okay so after when we knit five more rows we're gonna come and pick these stitches up right when we do that if you if you want to decrease you can do that if not you can just knit straight down your own preference so continue knitting five rows and then pick up these stitches and make one just on top of this so to make another bobble stitch just like this so we made one pick these stitches and you make another one and it's always in between like a zigzag and continue knitting how long you want your sleeve to be. And I will show you how to make the, the rib stitch one knit one purl. I have knit all day and I still haven't finished the sleeve. It's taking time. Usually it takes me if I knit the Garter stitch takes me a day to knit the two sleeves, but fortunately with the bulky yarn It's taking time Just wanted to share before saying uh, take uh, Taping the end results. So this is how it looks like so far Okay, so I have finished the card again <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? Here it is. Okay, so what I did is, I'm gonna go over the sleeve. What I did is, I did total of 12 baubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, here. And after that, either you do, uh, I did decrease every two baubles, so I had 28 stitches here and I did one knit one purl. If you don't want to do it, if you want to have it more bulkier, you can just knit all the way down. And this is how you knit the bobble, bubble, or bubble card again. Just wanted to share you this tutorial. I'm going to weigh it and see how how heavy it is because I had no idea how much yarn I would be needing. And I started with three strands of yarn that I had in my stash, all different kind, kind well, same color, but different types of yarn. They're, they were all acrylic. And this is how it looks like. First, I started to knit for a three-year-old, but it ended up small, medium, large size, adult size cardigan. I used up all the yarn that I had. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is gone. <laughs> My pinks are all gone. So one of the yarn was the Burnett Satin. Okay, let me 
just put this iPod here so I can show you the label. If you like the color, you are welcome to go and buy it. I couldn't find it at Walmart, but um, it was the 1420 and it's called Seashell. Online, when you go online, you can find it. Seashell. It's a pretty pink. And um, the other one was a old one that I had in my stash. I don't think you can find this, but it was cotton yarn pot patterns. And it has visco viscose and uh, cotton in it. So uh, I used a couple of strands of yarn to create this card again. I'm just going to measure. Just give you an idea if you want to knit something like this. It's for a small, medium, large. And uh, with buttoned, it's about 19 inches, so that's about 38. It will fit nice and cozy. And uh, the length is about 17 inches. And the sleeves from underarm. supposed to be 20 but it shrinked <laughs> so it's about 16 from underarm 16 17 this will because uh, it's been just knitted no one has wore it so it will get bigger and uh, it will stretch out I'm sure so it's 17 from underarm it will fit it perfectly for a small medium even for a large size adult and this is how. I'm just going to weigh it. I have my uh, kitchen scale here. So I'm just going to zero this. Oopsie. <laughs> Something fell. Okay, I'm just going to zero this. Because hmm. I'm taping it. Huh. Okay, took a while. Okay, let's see how much yarn. Oh wow, 736 gram, so I would say buy about 800 gram of yarn in an ounce, it's about one pound, one pound, and 0.9. I would pay say 1.2 so that would be 25 ounces of yarn you would need to knit this kind of cardigan if you want it longer you would need to get more yarn and the end! <laughs> I hope you liked this tutorial. It took me a week, seven days, to knit this cardigan. It was a challenge and it went pretty good. And I used up all of my pink yarn in my stash to create this lovely cardigan. Thank you very, very much for watching my tutorials. Please share it with your family and friends. And if you have not subscribed to it, to my channel please do I really do appreciate it <laughs> give me the thumbs up not down I only get that one from one person <laughs> and happy knitting